Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this op -amp circuit and here we have been asked to find the output voltage. So here this input voltage is equal to 1 volt and we have been given that the given op -amp is the ideal op -amp. Now if you look the circuit, then at the non-inverting terminal, this resistor 2R is connected to the ground terminal. So equivalently, we can draw the circuit like this. Now here, since the op-amp is the ideal op-amp, so no current is flowing into the op-amp terminal. And therefore, by applying the voltage divider rule, we can find the voltage at this node. Let's say the voltage at this node is equal to V1. So this voltage V1 is equal to 2R divided by 2R plus 2R times 1 volt, which is equal to 0.5 volt. That means this voltage V1 is equal to 0.5 volt. Now because of the negative feedback, here we can also apply the concept of the virtual short. That means here V plus is equal to V minus. That means the voltage at the inverting and the non-inverting terminal will be equal to V1. That means the voltage at this node is also equal to V1. Let's say the voltage over here is equal to V2. So now let us apply the KCL at the inverting terminal. So applying the KCL, we can write this V1 divided by R, that is this current plus V1 minus V2 divided by R, that is this current is equal to 0. Or we can say that 2V1 is equal to V2. And we know that this voltage V1 is equal to 0.5 volt. That means V2 is equal to 2 times 0.5 volt or we can say that this voltage V2 is equal to 1 volt. So now let us apply the KCL at this node and using this let us find the output voltage. So if we apply the KCL at this node then we can write this V2 minus V out divided by R or this current plus V2 minus V1 divided by R or this current plus V2 minus 0 divided by R that is equal to 0. Or we can say that this V2 minus V0 plus V2 minus V1 plus V2 is equal to 0. Now we know that the V2 is equal to 1 volt and the V1 is equal to 0.5 volt. So from this we can say that this V out is equal to 3 V2 minus V1. That is equal to 3 volt minus 0.5 volt. Or we can say that this output voltage is equal to 2.5 volt. So in this way, we found the output voltage for the given circuit, which is equal to 2.5 volt. So from this, we can say that for the given question, this C is the correct answer.